Morning friends. Today is lemon tree rescue day. Uh, with the cold weather we've been having, my lemon tree died a death because it got to minus temperatures in the polytunnel. Um, so we bought one more um, lemon tree, which also wasn't very well because we bought it from Aldi and that was sickly and dying. And then my sister-in-law bought me two more for just a fiver each from Aldi. And they're all broken and dying as well. So, I now have four lemon trees which have been sitting on my kitchen table. If any of you have seen the video I've done a couple weeks back on how small my kitchen is, you will know that my kitchen table is my only work surface and I've had four lemon trees sitting on it. So I've had no work surface in my kitchen. Fabulous. Anyway, it has not gone below 12 degrees in the poly polytunnel overnight for the last week or so. It's now only about 10 o'clock in the morning and we're on to 17 degrees and the sun's not even shining. Really, it's cloudy and grey today. So I'm okay with bringing them down into the polytunnel, which I have done. So here they are. This is my best looking tree. <laughs> the leaves have gone yellow, which they don't look as yellow on this video as they actually are. They're very yellow. And then I have this one, which is another sickly one from Aldi. And then I have this one. So these three in the brown pots are my sicklies from Aldi. That one being the best of the bunch. So that one, and then this one is my one which died in the cold weather, in the minus temperatures in the polytunnel. So, lemon tree rescue. What I'm doing is, I've got four large 40 centimeter pots, I believe. Yep, 40 centimeter pots. I've put down some slate at the bottom. There are drainage holes at the bottom of these. So I've put down some slate, then I've put down some horticultural grit. I've got some citrus compost, which I'll be mixing with my own compost. And I've also got some horticultural sand to mix into that as well. And then I shall put my babies in these buckets, in these tubs, and try to revive them. So these guys are filled with grit and the slate at the bottom. Now I was wondering what I was going to mix that, that, that and that in. Horticultural sand, grit, citrus compost and my compost. And then I realised under my potting tub, I had another potting tub. <laughs> so um, yeah, that should do it I reckon. Let's see. <laughs> Sandy, it's gritty, it's got compost in it, it's got nutrients in it for specifically for citrus trees. Looking good. Not sure I've got enough for all the pots though. So I might have to might have to beef it up a bit. More compost, more sand maybe. But I want all of them to have some specifically for citrus compost in it so I wanted to mix it all in this one pot 
let's see that's going to be real free draining that's what citrus trees want they don't like being sat in water at all so that is the good stuff i'm going to take the Ooh, pot off and check the rotty roots i haven't got any rotted roots in there i'm just going to loosen it up a bit you can see the compost in here, it's very stony, very gritty. That's what lemon's like. Which tells me I'm going to need more grit in my compost. So that's what I'm going to do. Right, so I've used my original mix with a little bit more grit in it for my best looking poorly lemon tree. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do with the rest of it is, and I've used about a third of it, so I think it's only gonna do three, three pots. So I'm gonna use the rest of my compost, more grit, more sands, and I've actually got some, let me find it, citrus feed. So I'm going to use that on all of them anyway. So hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll come back to life. Turns out I only needed the one pot to um, mix it in, and I used the clean one. So now I have two dirty pots. Do you know, I blame the children for my fuzzy brain. What a fool. Never mind, they can clean. I have repotted my trees. And I have watered my trees. So every Tuesday I'm going to water these. With some of that citrus feed in it. And hopefully I shall see my babies springing back to life. Uh, here's hoping. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be fine. Anyway, that's it. That's my lemon tree rescue. I will keep you updated to let you know how they're getting on. Hope you guys are having a great day. I will see you all next time. Bye for now.